Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional, TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, The Necessity of the Desert. Exodus 2.22 says, I have become an alien in a foreign land. God's preparation of a leader involves training, extended times of waiting, pain, rejection, and isolation. Are you ready to sign up? (laughs) Moses was brought up in Pharaoh's court. He had the very best of everything, education, clothing, food, and personal care. But there came a time when the man God would use to free an entire people from slavery was going to have to learn to be the leader God wanted. At age 40, when most of us want to be thinking about winding down instead of beginning a new career, Moses was forced to flee to the desert. Like Joseph and Abraham, Moses had to endure some difficult years of preparation that first involved removal from his current situation. He went from notoriety to obscurity, from limitless resources to no resources, from activity and action to inactivity and solitude, and most importantly, waiting and waiting and waiting. He probably thought he would die in the land of Midian. Then one day, a full 40 years from the day he arrived, God appeared to Moses in a burning bush. Everything changed. God said, it is time. The years had seasoned the vessel to prepare him to accomplish the work. God is preparing many workplace believers today. The circumstances may be different. The time frames may not be quite as long. But the characteristics of the training are still the same. Do not try to shortcut the desert time of God. It only leads to cul-de-sacs, which force you to revisit the lessons you are meant to learn. Embrace them so that He can use your life for something extraordinary. You know, the training of God can be very, very difficult at times. And the greater the influence he's going to use in your life, often the difficulty is greater in preparation. So keep that in mind, that God may have something that he's doing in your life that's going to be used to impact hundreds of thousands of people. Like Paul, he went through major adversity in order for God to speak through his life in a major way. So, if you find yourself in major adversity today, ask God what He's going to do through that adversity because He never wastes adversity. Father, we thank You that Your kingdom law says that many of us will go through hardship on the way to our destiny. And the greater the destiny, often the greater the hardship. Give us grace to be able to embrace whatever journey you give us to go through. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.